Bro, it is going the opposite of, like, how the Fourth Crusade went down. The Byzantines are sieging Venice. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this game? You're supposed to be having an internal succession crisis right now. You're not supposed to be unified. If only it was an accurate Venice map, then this would be a lot easier to fight them. A curse upon any man who names me coward. Let him take the burden of high leadership and still say the word. A leader's notice not just to fight, it is to organize. And my particular skills are best suited to ordering our ranks, not to the, the hurly burly of battle. Oh, this guy has the cowardly trait 100%. <laughs> Go back to their whoremongering and plotting and leave honest soldiering to men who know their business, like us. We would all be spared further bloodshed and they would still breathe. Oh, the knights look so good, though. Remember that we cannot let one of those bastards in. Not that one! Any who enters must stay only to be meat for the carrion crows. I fear that we will feel the lack of gunpowder on our side today. And our foes have an ample supply of heavily armored men. And now, armored in prudence and armed with the trusty cattle of caution, it is time to fight, methinks. To the untrained eye, my cunning plan to await developments from a safe vantage. <laughs> Yeah, he has the coward trait. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um. Well. Okay, okay. So they got one siege tower. And they do have some ladders. Okay. Oh my god, these guys are gonna kill us. Bro. <laughs> Dude. Man, I don't think you understand. They got fucking Vikings with them. We're gonna die. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Crossbows focus toward the front of the wall. You guys up here. didn't get any of the oh I didn't get any feudal knights shit okay all right all right well we're gonna keep the swordsman up here because that's where they're coming from uh Let's get him back here, and I want these guys ready for a charge. Because they're not going to really get a chance to do much up here. Okay. Alright, so first things first, just immediately start shooting. <laughs> we might lose Venice here. <laughs> he 
<laughs> You're doing no damage to them. Oh my god. Oh. Uh. Alright, alright, crossbows fall back. Get ready to defend the streets. at the walls. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Let's get these guys down at the wall. Actually, you guys... I'm gonna form two lines. Better armored guys get down first. Saints, save us! The enemy are battering down the gates! Yep. Our cunning foe has reached our walls with their siege tower. We must repel the invaders. This wall is gonna be really rough. Oh god, why are you crossbow guys still up here? Get down. You guys need to get the fuck off the wall. Okay, these knights are gonna have to do some work. night-on-night -night combat. Gotta move. To arms, General. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. Why are you guys not forming up? Please, please form up and get a get a spear wall going. The intervention by the Almighty Lord or a military genius can bring us victory from this disgrace. Okay. You guys need to get up on the hill, please. Good lord. Oh yeah, just keep them under the wall. Or keep them under the gatehouse if you can. Uh, AI is being a little, little funny. Good, good, good. I pray the 
course of this battle changes because defeat seems almost certain. It won't. Oh my god, did they just get caught up in like, ah, uh, they wouldn't even, ah, uh, they wouldn't fall back. Thank you, AI. Okay. Let's get the knights in here. The walls are no longer ours. The enemy have taken them. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so that is such a bad sight to see. Oh, please drop more oil on them. Thank you. That's the only thing I have an advantage right now. Oh my god, look at this fucking meat grinder, dude. Bro, we are not winning this. Uh, we're gonna have to revert the save back quite a ways. Yo! Uh, man. Uh, just a horde. A horde of Romans. There's no one in this fight. Yeah. Lord, preserve us. <sighs> we have been dealt a stinging defeat today. God, okay. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Uh God, when to revert back to though? Maybe we. <sighs> so we could revert, or oh no, not gonna. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. So uh, we'll reload the save here in a minute. Uh, what we I could do is either revert back to when I first took Zara, try and peace out. Or go back to around here, and instead of, like, building, getting all the buildings set up in the cities, just start investing in the military. Which I think might be the better option here. I think it's a sign. I, I think we just need to invest in the military more. Like, we need to guard the cities way better. Yes, my lord. We shall continue tomorrow, my lord. So... Instead of doing that... I'll let that complete since it's nearly done. Uh, Zara... I'll let the siege works finish. Uh, we don't need a library in Pisa. Verona, I'll let finish to be a fortress. But Venice needs to be better guarded. So what we'll do is 
Let's see, did they get any better upgrades? Not really. Heavy mail. You guys need to be upgraded. So maybe I build like an armory in here. You'll build an armory. Start retraining the spear militia to be better equipped. See, does Zara even have... Yeah, Zara has just like a palisade. So there's not a whole lot I can do there. Okay, I'm not at war with the Byzantines yet in this one. Uh, so I can... Okay, okay, okay. So I have time. Yeah, they're gonna be a pro they're gonna be a problem in the late game, definitely. That is that is a scary army to fight. I think what I'll do is Constantinople is gonna be the very last thing I take. Because I do not want a prolonged war with the Byzantines, because I don't I do not win that situation. You know what? If you attack the Romans? Very demanding. Okay, never mind. Ooh. This could be a good move. Maybe, maybe map info. I see little my people need in your offer, study. Okay. If you came to insult us, it has worked. I'd, I'd be, I'd, I'd want to accept. I'd, I'd want to see their map info before I accept it, because honestly, if the Fatimids have a lot of territory, they're like right across. They're just south of the Byzantines. That could be. Like, if I could get them to attack them at the same time, that could be pretty good. Oh, see, you have too many enemies. See, I don't want to go to war with, with all of Spain. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, we're not ready for the Byzantines yet. Okay. Yeah, so definitely want an armor. Cause Spear Militia need Spear Militia's gonna need better better armor. Three. What is there? See, I wish that it would show me the difference in armor in the the stat sheet because I don't think it does here. Yeah, their total defense is just the same, unless it's. Oh no! Okay, it goes up by one. I mean, that's that's better than nothing. It, so, by each armor level is one defense that's that's still you know better than nothing but i need some guys with like really high attack to fight the varangians whenever they come by These guys have cheaper upkeep. Okay. 
I might actually want to send. Yeah, I might want to send some hosp uh, hospitalers down there into Zara just to guard it. Yeah, I, I think I want those guys in there. Yeah, knowing what I know now, maybe, maybe we just want to, like, take out the rest of Italy really fast here. Maybe let's call off the war with Serbia right now, if I can. Let's see, where's my diplomat at? Let's let's see if I can call off the war really fast here. I, yeah, let's try to get the rest of Italy yes. if I can. Yes, my lord. I wanna make sure I'm guaranteed to like be safe in the east before I do that though. If it is the fight you wish, where to sire? You wish. Okay, let's call the rest of this map. So they probably. came from over here. Ready to trade. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I still want to get this guy over in Greece, though. Full sail. Let's try to get him there. Dropping anchor until morning. Okay, so we're still maintaining good income. So I can afford. I can afford to have like quite a few expensive units on hand. I just I just need to stop hoarding my money is what it is. These guys are oh Norman sergeants might be really good to send to Venice to defend the wall. That's really good. Yeah, let's get two of those. Send them up there because we we need some staying power on the walls for that fight if they ever come around. Yeah, if I... Majesty, I bring word from the Kaiser. It was a good offer. One you accepted, thank you, my lord. I hope to see you again. Yeah, if I lose Venice too, that's like most of my income gone. So that's something we can't lose, actually. Clemens the fourth. Wait, Clemens the fourth. Is that actually? Hold on, wait a second. Hmm. 
No, he's twelve fifty seven to twelve sixty. Who was he? I should know this. It was Innocent the Third, right? Yeah, so no. Didn't didn't get the name. Which I guess he wouldn't be around until like closer to the Fourth Crusade. That was like the very that was like the very first thing he did. Well, aside from like deal with the Cathar heresy, but Okay. Oh, did we get bring did we get brought into the war because the Germans were at war with the Byzantines? Yes, my lord. Yes. Okay, let's see if we can't. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Ceasefire here. An order? Untrustworthy fool. What lies do you bring us then? Like a single payment. Here, here's here's for the trouble of losing your tiny city that's not really worth anything, actually. Unfortunately, we cannot accept this. Okay. Oh, but you're bankrupt. Goodbye. We look forward to our next meeting. Your orders. Okay. An order. I think I just want my I might want my spy As you will. in Byzantine territory just to like keep track of where they're where they're at. Without a trace, the day's journey is over. I will hide. Hey, what's up, Dorn? Uh <laughs> you missed the um you missed the clusterfuck that <laughs> that was uh, all of Italy being invaded. Uh, we've we've reversed history. <laughs> we've actually Uno reversed history with uh, so far. This is a really this is a really weird campaign right now. With a mercenary experiment, I might just honestly move all of my troops from Milan over to Venice to make sure that doesn't happen again. We we tried starting the Fourth Crusade and um. The Byzantine Empire did a Uno reverse card on me and <laughs> said, "No, actually, you're getting invaded." Which, in any other situation, I'd be all for. But since I'm playing as Venice, I'm, I don't want that right now. <laughs> any other situation, I'd be happiest man alive <laughs> to seeing the Byzantines retake Italy. Oh, he, okay, he might already be moving his army toward me again. Yeah, I think I think forming the alliance with the HREs, I think, is why he's attacking me. On top of being at war with Serbia. Okay, so we might just have to tough this one out. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, so... In that case, we gotta prepare, like, immediately. So, let's go ahead. Okay, how much movement we got? Not a lot of movement. Okay, you need more crossbows. And let's go ahead and send down like Do I go ahead and send down two units of unmounted hospitalers? 
Oh god, where does army go? As you wish. Without a train. I probably should train some like some Yeah, these guys have cheaper upkeep. Yeah, we're gonna hire some hospitalers to help out with this. They're, I'm, I'm terrified now, honestly. <laughs> now that I know what they're, now that I know what like fighting the Byzantines actually looks like in in real time, I'm fucking terrified of them. Whenever they have their shit together and are not, like, in perpetual debt or in civil war, they are scary. Okay, so we got some Norman sergeants. Where are those at? Right here. Might add the uh, the horror category to the stream now. <laughs> the Roman Empire is quickly approaching your last known location. <laughs> Prepare to be civilized. <laughs> Oh shit, well Serbia might actually be taking it back themselves this time. I'm less worried about them. Ser I, I'm fine fighting Serbia. I don't want to fight the Romans. Okay, are we still good? Yeah, we're still good. Okay, alright. <laughs> Okay. All right. I think I think Serbia is just coming coming back to take their own city themselves. Back to land, men. Yes. That's fine. <laughs> Honestly, you know what? I I. I think converting, yeah, let's, yeah, I think converting the town at this point is a good call. Considering it's like right on, it's going to be right on the border with the Byzantines. I think we don't need a, a tiny village <laughs> over here. I think we need a castle. That's actually defensible. Let's make some money. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Plotting course now. Okay, so I think we're still gonna build build up the cities a little bit more for a better economy because we definitely need it now because the armies are about to get really expensive. But we're not gonna like spend whole turns just just building up like fifty buildings. You know, take it a little bit slower now. God, this actually wants me to make. I, I actually want to play as the Byzantines now that I know like that their entire army is just heavy infantry. He just got elected. What do you mean he's already dead? Bro. <laughs> Not even a year! Not even a year! He just died! What is going on? Orders. Move out. 
I want this city to be impenetrable. <laughs> no one's getting in. Yes. Full sail. Let's get maybe. Yeah, let's get two hospitalers over here. Leaving the men ashore. Your orders. There we go. Okay. All right, we got seven thousand to work with. And I still think I still think Genoa is wanting to attack me, so that's another concern that I have. Levy archers, if I'm being real. I, I don't like levy archers. Let's recruit crossbow guys and just send them over. They, they kind of suck. We need an armor over here, too. Do I have enough to build anything? I could start building it right now. That's fine, yeah, that's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I guess I will say, I was kind of worried a little bit that, um, I was worried that, um, nearing the end game, we'd kind of just start steamrolling all the other factions around us, except for like the HRE, obviously, <laughs> but I guess not. That's kind of the nice thing. Shogun 2, that kind of happens a little bit. It depends, like, if you're in, like, the, the farther regions, like, the north and the south of Japan, you're kind of going to steamroll everyone around you, but that leaves, like, the opposite end of the island free. But here, I think it's more, I think Endgame is a lot more balanced and medieval, too. Like, everyone's kind of on the same playing field for the most part, save, like, a few factions. Uh, yeah, we might have to start building some economic buildings here, or slowing down. It's a shame that I can't do like a non-aggression pact. And make the AI just promise not to attack me. The only way I can really do that is an alliance, and I don't really want an alliance with Genoa. Probably should retrain a lot of these guys. I 
That's almost done. Uh, can build a market. That's pretty cheap, and it gets me a lot of money per turn. Let's go ahead and save right here. Is like a safe spot. Okay, Zara is now a castle, which I think is, I think it's more accurate, honest, honestly, from the, the accounts that I've read. There's like a, there's the town of Zara, but there is like a small fortification there, like in the Fourth Crusade account. So I think making it a castle is a little bit more accurate. Still like a very nothing city, like very small in terms of like like resources that cost like a ton of trouble. Oh, there it is. The fools lay siege. Let them come. Trying to take back Florence. All right, what are we dealing with? Was that an attack? <sighs> okay. Um, uh, I could just. Name thy enemy, Lord. Orders. It's a shame I just moved those guys. Could just do this, yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> Alright, you wanna attack Florence? Okay. That's fine. <laughs> 